Can Numbots be used to create collaborative learning experiences? Well, we went to Swallowfield Primary School in Milton Keynes to see how they're creating opportunities for students to talk, share and work together. My name is Miss Harding and I am a Year 2 classroom teacher. So the way that I sometimes use Numbots in Year 2 is I don't give them an iPad each, I actually give them one to share one between two. So it's quite a nice way of them sharing the learning but both being involved with it. Um, it helps with their vocabulary skills, they've got to talk to each other, they've got to maybe explain to their learning partner what it is that they're doing or where they are. Um, and it's just quite nice to see that conversation happen with the children, they get really excited. Talk is really important in maths learning. Um, we do a lot of STEM sentences, so we kind of use it in the way that we do our phonics, where we do my turn, your turn. Um, and it's the same with our STEM sentences in maths. You know, we get the children to repeat certain things that will help them with their learning. So you generally find that if a child can talk about it, they can write about it, or they can read it, or they can learn about it in their maths lessons. But, you know, they use a lot of the language that we use in our maths lessons, because obviously Numbots has a kind of mastery approach. We use the mastery approach here at Swallowfield. So, you know, they'll use part, part, whole diagrams and you'll hear them say words like that, which will then be used in our maths lessons. In my lesson plans, you know, the lessons that we do, I do have kind of a, a seating plan. Children that I know work well together. It's sometimes also quite nice to, when you're thinking about peer support, thinking about putting someone who you know maybe has a more nurturing character with someone who struggles a little bit with their maths. One of the ways that you can show um, that you've mastered something is if you can explain it to someone else. So, you know, if that child is really confident in their numbers and they can explain it to a child that's less confident, it's just, it just really shows that they know what they're doing and it also obviously helps the other child because um, it raises their confidence as well and you can see that you then see kind of the fluency in the maths lessons and their, um, yeah, just their more ability to access their maths learning. We do what's called a reflect in our lessons. So obviously I've got the big white board so we can bring Numbots up on the board and we can kind of show one of the problems. The children either sit and work out on the carpet or we can send them to their tables. One of the big things we start on at the beginning of year two is number bonds to ten. So if they can see that in different ways and different representations. We try and show them as many as possible and then the Numbots kind of replicates that through the app. So it's quite nice that they've seen it, they know what it looks like. Um, and I've taught it to them as well. I think with the numbers, because they find it so fun, it's a really positive way of thinking about it. it. It brings up a positive emotion for them, so then they remember it a little bit more as well. So in Key Stage 1 um, and Reception, we celebrate our numbers during our celebration assemblies. We do the stage completion certificates where the children come up in assembly and they hold their certificate. You find at the beginning of the year it's mainly the year two children that are coming up for their because obviously they've accessed it since reception in year one but you start to notice as you go through the autumn term that the year one children start to get a few more certificates so they all obviously seen ah oh, this is what you can get when you you know use your numbers. Um, I'd say try the partner work because I think that really helps because they love looking at the numbers and they know it might be a level that they've done before so they can really help them with it or it might be a level that they're about to do so they're like oh I'm going to watch this child do it so that I it can help me with mine. So I think that uh, for other teachers if they wanted to get that more talking partner work is a great way. Getting a problem up on the board and getting the children to discuss it in small groups or on the carpet or if it's the older children at their tables is another way of discuss like getting the discussion element into it. A big thank you to Swallowfield for sharing how they're making Numbots a more collaborative learning experience. If you've been inspired by something you've seen, why not try it with your own class and embrace the productive noise. <laughs>